trust our opinion, don't trust our opinion podcast. It's your boys back in the building. It's your boy OJ. It's your boy Kev. It's your boy CJ Postman. Oh shit. Wait, I'm not behind the camera. Yeah. Oh man. What the fuck? What are you, what are you doing here? Oh, I thought this was the Patreon. What's, my bad. Explain to everybody what you're doing here. Hey, what you doing here, Postman? Um, I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to show love to Andrew Schultz for, you know, posting us on his IG story, man. That's a fact, man. Shout you know, he's showing Anderson. love. You know, New York is showing New York is love, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I had to come in this video and show this. Yeah, we gotta His stick special together. love, man. I wanna see. I'm proud Crazy of him. Crazy as we are, we gotta stick together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a fact. Shout out to him. Um, you know, right now we got Andrew Schultz explains why America is not that bad. Um, I agree with that. It's really not that bad. However, you know, when you, when you, um, people, people just want better. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? And being an American, uh, all three of us, we know that America is not that bad compared to other countries and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But there's so much room for improvement, you know? So, yeah. So yeah, here we go. Let's get it, Chelsea. I'm not saying we don't have radicals in this country. There are Nazis, anarchists, the beehive, and the media the loves to make opposition more extreme than a Sean White supremacist. But for the 80% of us in the middle, this only exists on TV, like hot doctors and Jew cops. There's no milkshake tossing Antifa super soldier behind you at Starbucks. There's no low T Tiki torch tools at Trader Joe's. That's just how the media makes it feel. These idiots say New York is a socialist safe space controlled by a colossal cup communist, when in reality, it's more capitalist than Adam Smith selling $40 funnel cake at the Laissez Fair. That's an amazing joke. <laughs> and I mean, that really is. Um, Amer- I mean, New York is really all about capitalism. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I, that's why um, the houses are increasing, like the, um, the amount, how much houses cost. Like, everywhere you go in New York, Think about it. As soon as you step out of New York, business, 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 house, house, business, business, house. It's everywhere. So even in the hood, trap house. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even in the fucking hood, everywhere you look, <laughs> there's you can't you can't walk in New York without seeing a business That's a for more than ten seconds. It's everywhere. But yeah, New York is all about the money. You know what I'm saying? That's why I think we're so rude and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Everything is money. Like yo, what is it? Yeah. Place. What's the next step? Cream. Cash was everything around me, for real. Not bombs too. And God, yeah. people think Texas is this training ground for racist cowboys, but in reality, it's more diverse than the social dilemma family dinner. Who casted this? Helen Keller? <laughs> Never right been now, to Texas. In Houston, there's a Vietnamese ICE officer arresting a Persian contractor for picking up a Honduran day laborer at Home Depot. And you know who's the most pissed off about this? The black man that's not gonna get his bathroom done. That's essential when you're taking down Tex Mex. Oh, and I didn't even mention La Raza Way. Houston's got more Mexicans than a Guadalajara clown car. Now that's diversity. Someone give them an Oscar. The point is, <laughs> America's not as bad as the media narrative portrays. And we'd probably notice it if we unplug from the internet, like what's suggested by all those documentaries. Facts. Bro, bro, all right. For everyone that didn't watch the social dilemma, right? They were trying to make it seem like the like I, I understand what they talk about, right? Mm-hmm. So basically, um, with the social dilemma, right? Um, they're saying that uh, uh, America is um more uh, divided um than it's ever been in um American history, right? Mm-hmm. People, Democrat, left, right, Republican, whatever the case may be, right? Now, they were saying that's due to the internet because of um, the information, uh, the information that you're um, provided, right? So mm-hmm. once you click on, let's say if you click on um, uh, 9-11 was a conspiracy theory, all you're going to get is recommendations of, exactly, right. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. They're, right. they're, uh, they're reading your personality and, you know, they, they're going to so give you. they do for the ads, you know? Exactly, right? However, yeah, it's 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 a a problem. But the way the documentary was making it seem is like <clears throat> it's the major, it's the most significant problem in America and in the world. Like I disagree with that. Like um, they were saying, like oh, um, next time you see, like I think at the end they were like, oh, next time you see, um, uh. 
something that um you like and you want to click on it, just don't. Just don't use the internet. Nah, nigga. Some of us make money off this shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck you talking about? Like, nah, dog. Yeah. Like, we're not doing that. Like, and if I want to be entertained, why I can't be entertained? Like, I think the issue is that people are very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, gullible. You know what I'm saying? There has to be facts behind what you, um, what you are, what you're looking at or whatever it is your chair. I'm unplugging the Terry Shiva. We're addicted and no one takes advantage of better than this fish lip lady in that right here. <laughs> Donald Trump speaks in the exact sound bites the news cycles crave and leans in like Biden on a seven-year-old scalp. He stands up for the issues that Fox makes up and gives CNN the super bill Nate craves since Saddam was swinging like your mom at Margaritaville. He's been playing like a fiddle for years. I said fiddle. Whether it was calling for the death penalty for the Central Park Five or saying Obama was more Kenyan than a coffee bean running a marathon, Trump doesn't just ride the waves of the culture war, he creates them like a Chris Christie cannonball. And after years of laying pipe to pros and the groundwork for a presidential run, in 2016, he capitalized. As Obama's presidency was droning along and the woke movement was growing larger than their list of genders, a huge <laughs> section of the country started to feel disenfranchised. Yeah. I know this is going to be hard for a lot of you to believe, but that section was white guys. <laughs> I like the way he uh, gives out information too. It's not boring. Yeah, it's like it's like it's, it's, it's informative, but yeah. at the same time, he's like I don't know. I just like his style. I like it. I like it. Yeah, like he, he never it's never a dull moment with um Andrew Schultz. Uh you know what I'm saying? Um Yeah, how, how you felt about it? Um, uh, I think it was great, like I don't know. I think at like at the like in one or two years he will be known as like one of the top comedians in the game if he's not already at that point. Yeah. So I can see him being like a host on a daily show or some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right. Um so yeah, shout out to Andrew Schultz once again. He reposted us. He was shout out to Thanks. him. Um, a lot of love. Man. A lot of love. Um, yeah. yeah, fellow New Yorker. New Yorkers in the spot, man. We out.